Hello and welcome to another screencast. This one is on rescue time and it's all about getting started with the program. So the first thing you're going to have to do is switch over to a web browser and look for rescuetime.com. So as you can see I've gone to rescuetime.com and now I'm at their website. I'm going to pretend that I am just starting with my first go so I sign up and when I click there I should get two options you'll note there is a rescue time premium which we're going to avoid because there is a charge but for the rescue time light which will serve our purposes all you need to do is sign up now you'll do this by putting in your email address a password for rescue time and then you'll confirm that password and the plan you're going to choose is light free forever and then you will sign up. Once you've logged in you will be taken to your dashboard. It won't show anything for you because you'll still need to do one other step. You need to go to tools and download rescue time. This is something that's a little confusing about rescue time. You need to download the application to your computer but view the dashboard on a web browser. This is because they are going to encourage you to download rescue time to all your devices so that you can track your time whether you're on an iPad, your phone, or a computer. So your dashboard again is where all the data will be so stored but the program is put on your computer or device to track how you're using those devices. Once you've downloaded Rescue Time, you'll find it in your Downloads folder and you'll have to install it. So you'll double click and on a Mac, all you do is drag the icon into your Applications folder. Now I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it now and it will automatically begin tracking your machine. And that's all there is to it. You're now ready to track your data and see what you've been up to. Bye for now.